Okay, welcome to this week's plan with me for the week of October 17th to the 23rd, 2016. And I'm going with another mixed media spread this week with a uh, fall slash Halloween theme. I'm going to start with a thin coat of Liquitex Matte Medium. I'm probably not going to be able to see this next part very well on video, but I'm using a uh, spiderweb stencil and some white art anthology dimensional gel paint. around this is old so it's all lumpy so I added some liquid to it to try and soften it up so Let's see if it works Seems to have worked. I know you probably can't see it much, but it's clumpy, but it's all right. <laughs> This is uh, Daniel Smith Amethyst, which is a dark, dark purple.
so this is now totally dry and <laughs> I honestly have to say I really like it even though it's messy and drippy I just love this the green and purple together and the way the watercolor ended up drying and the way the spider webs look I, I like it and these stickers ended up sticking really well because I think this was still a bit sticky when I put them down so no worries there. So I think I'm going to go ahead and add some washi tape. I pulled out some um, um, black and white bats and spider webs and some greens. Well, I don't know if I have any purple or not. I don't think I have anything I do have some purple, obviously, but um, yeah, I might add some of this, or maybe some of this. Yeah, we'll see. Don't want to cover up too much of the um, too much of the spider web. So I'm going to um, go ahead and throw in some of my usual um, functional, I guess you would call them functional stickers. And um, again, I'm using mostly Libby and Co. <laughs>
so I think I'm done for this week. I hope you enjoyed um, my mixed media approach this week. I had fun and I really like the way it turned out. Certainly isn't going to be for everyone. Not everyone's going to want to muck up their planner like I do, but I love it. So please um, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Doesn't matter because YouTube doesn't care if it's a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It's all good. So, um, and I'd love to hear your comments. Do you enjoy the mixed media or would you prefer sort of the uh, traditional approach? Because, um, I don't know, I think there's a lot of people out there that do sort of the, the more traditional approach. Um, and I, uh, I don't know, I think my, my approach is a lot different than most. So that's what I like and probably what I'll continue to do because it is my planner. So anyway, thanks again and um, I'll see you next time. I lied. I wasn't finished. I decided to add a couple of bats. These are um, taken from, cut out of a, a napkin. This is the napkin before I cut out one of the, the bats. This was from, obviously, from a different napkin. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to add two or three because generally you want to add things in odd numbers. And it's better if you tear. Um, it just blends into the page a little better, but sometimes it's a pain to tear. And napkins pretty much always, well, always have more than one layer. And this particular one has just two. So I just need to pull it apart. And we're good to go. So, the dilemma is two or three. More is more. Three it is. So I'm just going to use uh, my usual matte medium. careful because the background is watercolor so that medium is reactivating it but 